Hello everybody, welcome back to ARK, I'm your host, Demetrodon, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can change your settings, your graphics settings, that is, for um, lower power GPUs. Now, just as a disclaimer, I do have a 3060 Ti, um, that's my GPU, NVIDIA um, Founders Edition, as well as a Ryzen 5 3600 as my CPU in this system. Those are going to be your main contributors to FPS. Otherwise, RAM might make a slight difference. I have, I have 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz RAM, which really all you need is 16 gigabytes of like 3200 megahertz. But I went a little bit higher because I do some editing and stuff like that, and I thought it might be beneficial. The settings I have on right now, which are um, resolution scale all the way up, because this is a 1080p screen with a 144 hertz refresh rate and uh, the sky quality all the way turned down because apparently after doing some testing sky quality makes no difference anymore you can turn the sky quality all the way up and you can turn the sky quality all the way down there's still clouds in the sky no matter what so because of that sky quality doesn't make a difference it just it just eats up your FPS for no visual benefit so that's why I've got that turned down Resolution scales all the way turned up so that you get full resolution of what you have set there, which is 1080p. And then uh, I have it in full screen mode, and I have it on a custom graphics quality. I don't have any of these pre-selected ones because it changes all this stuff, which is annoying. Um, so I have world tile buffers, general shadows, and terrain shadows all turned down to medium because they are going to be the things that... Well, while they don't really have a huge effect on your um, your FPS, they don't do anything visually, so you can turn them down without worrying about, you know, um, your dinosaurs looking like they're polygonal, like Pablo Picasso paintings. <laughs> so, um, they, they, they don't really do anything. Um, otherwise, everything here I have turned down to high because... I was just doing some testing. Epic used to make a difference in textures and I think it was general shadows and it used to make like actual visual difference and it would make things look like like trees in particular look really good. But it doesn't do anything. It doesn't really make a, a visual difference anymore. So I just turned everything down to high. And it gives me more FPS and um like it th I don't lose any visual performance. And, um, by the way, I did try turning everything to epic, and, um, I could show you guys. If everything is turned to epic, uh, even with 3060 Ti, like, it just becomes a stuttery mess. So, uh, look at this. It's like, it's like a, it's like a slideshow here. It's, uh, some parts look better than others, but when I, like, look over here, it's all like, uh... It looks terrible, and I'm only getting like 30 FPS. So, it makes more sense to have this stuff down at medium. Because shadows make a big difference. If you're ever having issues, Flingerfu always says this, um, turn down your shadows. Now, don't turn them down too much, because it will, like, it won't make things look as good. But, if you are, that's a, that's a good suggestion. Plus, um... Textures make a big difference, and view distance, because the more things it has to load in, like farther away, um, that might not be that important, um, unless it's like a dinosaur spawning in and then eating your face. Um, you want to keep view distance somewhat up, now, but it's not a uh, hundred percent like necessary to make um, a visual difference. It just depends. It just changes how far you can see. And thank you, Emerald. Yeah. So this this still high still allows you to get all these good details, and uh, you get some more uh, you get some more FPS because of it. So um, you can also change things down to medium. I would never suggest going to low unless it's on those settings that don't matter. Like, well, I wouldn't turn shadows down to low, but I if you turn like world tile buffers down to low or maybe you turn down anti-aliasing and post-processing a bit so that it puts less of a load on your CPU and GPU then um, 
uh, you would get more FPS. So you could you could do that, but otherwise, um, if you can get this configuration and it gives you more FPS, do it. Um, and by the way, I am on Genesis Part Two, and this is going to be the worst case scenario for your CPU and GPU because the map is absolutely huge, and Arc spent so much time throwing all this stuff in there that it just tanks your FPS. As you'll see when I go to the island, you get a lot more FPS in basically like every other map, especially the island because the island is one of the least demanding maps uh, that is like sold or like one of the maps made by the developers. Yeah. And you can see even Skycaller doesn't mess up the the hyper speed of the ship. But um, as you can see here, I'm getting 70 to... I, had, I think I had like 90 FPS when I was just sitting here. So I'm getting between like 70 and 90 FPS on a 3060 Ti, which means if you have a lower powered C, um, GPU and or and or CPU, you will be getting lower FPS, but as long as it's above 60 FPS, it should be fine for ARC. Or even... Um, even like 50 FPS, something like that, is probably alright for ARC as the consoles do play ARC, like PS4 and stuff like that. And um, they're always low FPS because uh, the APUs in the consoles can't take as much power. If I were to change this stuff down to medium, it's it still looks good because if you go to low, everything gets all smoothed out and gross and it just doesn't look good. Um, but if you change everything down to medium here, I'm getting, like, yeah, between, like, high 70s and, like, around the the low 90s there. So, you do get some more, but it's not as much um, as going from epic to high. So, yeah. And I would show you guys low, but really low is not meant to be like playable that's for like um if you're playing on like an APU or like you're playing on an IGPU or something like that and it just looks like crap um and it, it just looks terrible they just put it in there so that they could say that they have support for those lower end hardware but it doesn't look good at all and you should never use low oh and also by the way the water always looks good in arc no matter what you do, no matter what settings you change, water always looks good. So you don't have to worry about the water changing depending on your FPS. Um, Alright, so I'm going to switch over to the island. And then I'll show you the boost in FPS that you get from just changing maps. And by the way, Arc is not the best optimized game. They don't have the best optimization, which causes them to um, you know, not get as much FPS. And causes some people to dislike the game and not use lower end hardware. Um, so yeah, but as you can see, already, just spawning in, and this is an old map, um, you can watch the old video on that, actually, uh, where I used this map, but I thought I lost it, so I started a new map, and now I've lost that one, but I found this one, so, it's all a mess, but you, I'm getting between, like, 116, and I think I was almost at 170 FPS there for a second, so you can see it fluctuates, but um, if you're just standing there, you're going to get more FPS than when you're running around. But this is completely payable. Like, this is kind of ridiculous FPS. But if you are running lower-end hardware, it's going to be a more reasonable frame rate. And these are the same settings. So, um, you know... And changing to medium does make a bigger difference here. So you've changed everything to medium here. And then you went in. You're you're getting more like 130 instead of 116. And 150. Which is good. I personally, because I can, you know, I can, I can, my GPU can handle it. I'm going to be having most of this stuff at high. Just because it makes it look better. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, hope this helps you out, um, maybe get, maybe allows you to
play Ark longer than you thought because uh, I just gave you a good like settings combination there. But um, yeah, enjoy playing Ark and uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this. And uh, hit like if uh, you enjoyed the video and you want to tell other people that you enjoyed it. And of course you can share it with your friends if um, you think this would be beneficial in helping them get some more FPS in ARC. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.